But uh, let's play fortune teller. Let's do some looking into the crystal ball. Crystal Whoa. ball. Whoa. This is a fortune teller music. At least that's what it said on the internet. Okay. Fortune teller music. Do you want to look into? Step I'm into, looking into step your future. Into the, the the tent here. The fortune yes. teller tent here. Right. Okay. A little fortune telling music here. Uh, let's play a couple scenarios on Sunday. Okay. Just at that time I said about 4:25 here in Pittsburgh, Green Bay time. I don't know. 3:25. Yeah. Who knows? I don't know how the clocks work. Anyhow, so let's play one scenario. The first of four scenarios. Okay. Right. The Steelers just get demolished. They get mm -hmm. dragged. As the kids say now, cooked. Yeah. Right? That happens to the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Ben Roethlisberger has a bad game. What's the rest of Sunday like? What's Monday like? What's next week like? How does that scenario play out? Let's uh, look into our crystal ball. It's more of what we've experienced the last two weeks. A whole lot more questions than answers. A whole lot more people, and I imagine – even more of the staunch Ben loyalists will come over to the side of, no, we got to do something about this. The guy's done. Uh, he, he's over with. He's finished. Uh, and we'll, we'll all be – more people will be looking at mock drafts on Sunday night and Monday morning talking about the next future Steelers quarterback. It'll be more doom and gloom. You, you know, I think that's a really good point about mock drafts. I think people will start to – if the Steelers go one and three – I think that the focus will then shift from almost into, well, does it even matter if Ben continues to play? And who cares? And Mason Rudolph and, and Dwayne Haskins, whatever. the se at One and three, mind you, after four mm -hmm. games. Is the season even salvageable? Who's next year's yes. quarterback? I think it'll focus into that if they lose this game and get demolished and Ben doesn't play well. Because we've already gotten some of that already this week Correct. at one and two, mm -hmm. uh, given the two terrible performances or two and a half terrible performances the offense. All right, now, uh, what were we doing? Oh, well, Looking into this crystal ball. This is the old fortune. I have that hat on. It's kind of, it looks sort of a bit like a turban, but yeah, not it's got really. Like a ruby, it has a, a jewel I was just of some sort in the front. Yeah. The, this, big, this big ruby, right? Yeah. taped on the front, tacked on the front of it. I'm looking into your future Sunday, and yes. I see. I see the Steelers aren't really uh, – they they're not a threat to win the football game. Okay. But Ben Roethlisberger has an okay game. He's not the reason that they lose the football game. Okay. He shows improvement. He's better than he was the past couple weeks. And you go, maybe that's something they build off of. They lose by a field goal. They come underneath that number of six and a half. Maybe mm -hmm. they lose by four. And Ben has – a decent game. Perhaps they turn it over, somebody fumbles, the defense has a lapse, and you go, that's stepping stones. That, that that's that's growth there. Then let's look into our crystal right. ball. Where does it go from there? We'll get a in whole that scenario. We'll get a whole lot of well, we didn't expect them to beat Green Bay in the first place. Uh at, when we when we looked at things at the beginning of the season, we didn't expect them to beat Green Bay. But it feels like things might be moving back in the right direction, right? Like if ben, like if you painted that scenario, Ben has a good day, and it's really just maybe one mistake late in the game that costs them. You know, they get hit over the top, or like you said, uh, the ball gets put on the ground by somebody. Whatever it may be, people will go, okay, things were looking a whole lot better, and I, I feel terrible still that they're one and three and they can't get out of their own way. But at least it feels like we're a little bit closer to finding some legitimate hope. Right, right. I think that that, that would be – even if they lost, and you're right, and they went one and three, they would say, well, maybe there's a chance. Perhaps there's a chance we could be three and right. three. because it's a decent and, team on the road, right. Green Bay, Lambeau, all that. And Aaron Rodgers, my gosh, yes. is he good? MVP, all that kind of stuff. And Ben has showed improvement. So at least there's that carrot dangled out there that you can play. And the next two are at home. Right. You can play Denver. You can play Seattle. You could get to the break at 500. And, oh, by the way, none of these right now are AFC North games. These are kind of tune-ups. If you could do something in a division, I think it would, it would offer, even with a loss, and if Ben improved – a flicker of kind of hope okay. for the fan base, if yeah. you will. All right, now, uh, what were we saying here? Fortune teller, Looking by the way. Future. Karnak! Karnak! Yes. Johnny Carson, if you will. The big fluffy thing on the, the on the hat, yep, too. The envelope, yeah. up envelope up against the forehead. Envelope right up against, yeah, right up against his temple. He would mm -hmm. put it right, isn't that right here? Karnak. There, yeah. And what in, in this scenario, the third of the four scenarios, okay. the Steelers win, but it's not because of Ben. Okay. Does it matter to people at all? Will the focus then go from – because this is my thought. 
we are so looking and thirsting for something to be positive about that we'd be like, we have been in playoff, but who cares? We won. We won. Or do we? can we find that in us it'll in be, this city? It'll be similar to the second scenario you painted where there, there'll be a lot of yeah buts, but the yeah but will be um, – yeah, you know, Ben didn't look all that great. He, you know, one touchdown and two picks, and, you know, he got sacked four times again. But they were able to steal one on the road at Green Bay. Maybe there's something in there, right? It'll be a – or even you'll have the negative, yeah, buts. You'll have the, yeah, they won on the road in Green Bay. Ben still doesn't look great. I mean, they got lucky on that one. A lot of yeah, buts. Because well, I've resigned myself for the rest of the year that Ben is what Ben is. Ben should be done at the end of the year, if not beforehand, no matter kind of what the record is, unless he goes on this monumental run. I am looking at, and I mean this, the whole rest of the schedule, a win is a win is a win is a win, and it doesn't matter. Ben is a whole separate entity. So in that scenario, I separate the two things. Like, I've already, again, resigned So you're feeling myself. a whole lot better if they win yeah, it's Sunday night, Monday morning, you yeah. wake up, you're like, Whoof. Uh, right. all right, we're back to 500. Here we go. Ben yeah. Ben doesn't have it together. I didn't expect him to have it together anyway. Correct. I, it is what it is. He has a finite shelf life for me in this town, and it's at the end of this season, whether it ends in a Super Bowl, whether it ends with them not winning another game. Right. If they go 1-16, in 16, it's for me, it's Dunzo. When he can't get up off of a – if he gets hit terribly there's this year. There's a finite timeline. There's now. a finite timeline. So the th- two things are independent of one another. Right. The rest of his career and the Steelers' results. Last one. You ready here, yes. Karnak? Huh? Whoa. Well, this is almost like Pee Wee Herman. Um, what, uh, what was Jombie it? or whatever yeah. was it? <laughs> It kind of feels like you put the quarter. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> all right, let's play fortune teller one more time. This is probably the least likely of all the scenarios, okay. right? Would you agree to that? Give it to me. Ben plays incredibly. He outplays Rodgers. Oh, the f- Pittsburgh Steelers win the football game. Four TDs, 300 yards, yeah, slinging it this, all over. This old cowboy's got a little bit left in him. <laughs> oh. Yes. Now. Now. We we swing it all the way back around. I mean, this is the That's scenario it. that gets, for a lot of people, this is the scenario that gets them to turn maybe not 180 degrees in, back in the opposite direction, or, you know, right back to where they were after the Buffalo game, but it gets them about, mm, about 150 degrees back in that direction. And they go, oh, man, it was just a couple bad weeks, I think. I think they might have something here. Look, did you see Ben when they went tempo and he was moving the ball and slinging it all Will over the yard? Will we get calls Monday morning? It's like, you guys were too hard on this team. I They're not that bad. Ben is just fine. He's okay. Be, Nancy. Yeah, they'll yeah. be two and two. And everybody will be looking at the rest. Of, look, they beat Denver and Seattle. They're four and two going into the bye, and they get a chance to catch the Browns coming out of the bye for the Power lead. rankings, where are they, huh? Yeah. You know, we're Peter King. You getting Peter King on? Talk to him about all this stuff. <laughs> You th- I mean, do you think that that – Yes. you honestly think that'll be the, the, honestly, the pep in the step? There, 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 there will be pep in the – there will be the reservation still. Like, uh-huh. oh, well, you know, Green Bay's defense. Uh, 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 look, look at what happened to them against Jameis Winston in New Orleans. Uh, should we take stock in Ben doing that? But most people will look at it and say, if Ben were to go off, like I said, 300 yards, four touchdowns, something crazy, outplay Rodgers, people will go, oh, man, maybe – Maybe they do. Maybe they can get it together here in the next couple of weeks. All right. Now, which one? Uh, you know what? We'll do this in the next hour. Which is the most likely of those scenarios? Let's talk about that mm. in the next hour. Let's save okay. that. Which one of those four? Because I do think that the result probably rests in one of those four scenarios. Somewhere along those S- lines. Somewhere yeah. in there. At least you can piecemeal it in there, kind of somehow. Uh, Matt, did that sound like fortune teller music or no? I think. Kind of. Sure. I haven't been to a fortune teller in I haven't no, ever. I don't ever want to go. Does that go against your religion? Like like how religious you are? I Does just, it fly in the face of that? I just wouldn't believe him. I, yeah. My friend yeah. Kenny went. There's a place called Lilydale in New York, which okay. is right up by Chautauqua Lake, right? And it's this kind of commune for fortune teller-ish kind of people like that. Oh, really? He said he went in there like one mediums time. mediums and stuff? Absolutely. It's this little, like, compound you go in. It's right by Chautauqua Lake. And you go in there, and I forget if it was him or his cousin, but he said they went in there, and they go in, and mm. I, I think he was with his cousin. And they paid, and they person went, and they said, like, the first five words, ten words, whatever, were way too close to home, and they were like, and it was on point, and they were like, he was like, we're out of here. Really? Yep. Like, we're yeah, out of here. I still don't buy into no, it. I don't. That's what he said. He said, like, it was stuff, and it was personal, and it was right, and they were like, 
we're gone. See ya. See, I think I don't buy into it either. I think people go into it. People go into it wanting to hear a certain thing or expecting to hear a certain thing. If they get anything close to it, they're like, (gasps) "How'd they know?" Well, because the way they asked the questions or the way they said things, they yeah. knew they could get you. I, I want no parts of that, the, the, the voodoo stuff. <laughs> Leave me out of it. Give me a beer and a football game. I, whenever I think of a fortune teller, I just think, you, if you guys have seen the movie Mall Rats, yes. there's the, the the mall fortune teller lady who's actually like the, the one of the ladies from, from uh, Three's Company. She's sitting there doing the fortune telling thing, and you got to see the scene in order to get what – it's it just it's nonsense. When I think of a fortune teller, you know what I think of? <laughs> <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs>